Hey, good morning everyone. It's Saturday and it's time to uh, grab my first meal of the day. And if you guys remember a while back, I was talking about how I measured all the food that I was kind of consuming. It's sometimes a little bit excessive, but that's how I was able to lose the 20 pounds. And so I thought I'd share with you guys one of the favorite things I like to eat. Um, there's a Mexican place that, by the house or many Mexican markets or stores do this. They sell what they call a bionico, which is a bionic. It's a way to kind of take in fruits and, and some healthy things. And I like making those at home. So what I did is I'm going to bring you guys how I make my bionico, or like we like to call it, a fruit salad. Right? So I've got the ingredients here that I'm going to use today for my fruit salad, my bionico. And it basically is using a base of fruits. And then I top it with yogurt or cottage cheese, depending on what I'm mood for. And then I put some granola and then flaxseed and then put some honey on it. Um, in this case today, I've got a little surprise on that. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing it. You can use any fruit you want. But for me, because I'm measuring everything, I've already got it. I told you guys about my Fitbit app. I already know what I'm going to mix into this. I took the time to do a little bit of um, this today, but normally I don't prepare it this way. I'm just doing it for the video. So what I did is I already cut it and everything, got it ready for you for the presentation more than anything. But you can do this without having, of course, the presentation, right? So all I do is I take a third cup measurement of all the fruits I'm going to use. So I'm going to use a third of the fruit of fresh strawberries. I cut those up, finely chopped strawberries. And then I'm going to take some blueberries and I'm going to use, uh, um, I'm sorry, not a quarter cup, a third cup. This is all a third cup, right? Mix those up a little. By the way, I already washed all these here today. And then I'm going to use a third cup of grapes. Get that one that went over to the side, third cup of grapes. And only a third cup of bananas, right? So now I've got all this put in here. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I've got the different fruits that I'm going to have together. All right, just kind of mixing it up. Now that I've got that there, then I'm gonna put in Greek yogurt. And then I do the Greek yogurt because it's low in fat, and also high in protein. And you know, if you're doing exercises and stuff, that's gonna be something you always wanna keep. And that's kind of a, a really hefty amount of it because I love the way it tastes. Um, it's just a plain yogurt and I don't get the sweetened kind because that's not what you want, all right? Here we go. I use a, quite a bit of, of the Greek yogurt. I'm going to leave that there. There we go. Okay. We're going to do that. And then we've got the topping. And then I'm going to put in, which I've already measured a little bit, I'm going to put in probably the same amount, about a third cup of the granola. And I use the Kashi granola because it's also got some um, protein in there. All right. Now, on top of that, then I top it with ground flaxseed. And flaxseed is great for the digestive system. I'm sure you guys know about that. It's super high in fiber and that's why I add it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that over it as well. I do two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. And then to give it the sweetness, you can use honey. But one of the things that um, I like using, and you guys have probably seen my tequila videos. If you haven't, check out my videos. They're all under Jesus Arturo Hernandez, my stuff that I like. This is organic agave, agave, the same plant that you get the tequila from. So it's basically the nectar from the agave plant. It's very sweet. And so what I do is I just drizzle this on top. It's about two tablespoons and I'm ready to go. This now, what I've done, this will be my breakfast. You know, I've got my fruits, I've got my protein. I got some sweetness in there and it's all, oh gosh, this smells and tastes already. I can feel it. So I already did all the measurements. I put it into my Fitbit app. And putting this into the Fitbit app, Fitbit app, which you guys saw here, that only is a total of 520 calories. That gives you 70% 70, 70 carbs. Yes, it's high in carbs, but you need fruit. You need the nutrients, natural stuff. It's got only 10% fat, and it's got 20% protein. So a very healthy breakfast that I make. And I, the reason why I cut so much of it is because when I do this, I like to share that with my family. It's a great way of getting them healthy to eat, getting them a good start of the day, something nutritious. And... Um, let me go ahead and take a taste of this because I love this stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Just all the fruits and the grapes and the blueberries exploding in your mouth. Oh, this is awesome. I, I recommend you guys try it. A great way to maybe even have your kids, if you got little ones, get it ready like that. Have them put it together. You know this is going to be super healthy and not having to use cereal or donuts, especially on a weekend. This is a great treat. You can use this for breakfast, lunch, or as a snack. Again, this is going to be a hefty for a serving, but only 500 calories. Just to give you an idea, if you order 
uh, what is it, a frappuccino, a venti frappuccino, which is a ton of sugar with no benefit to it, that has the same amount of calories, actually a little bit more calories than what you see here, and it's not going to feel you the same. All right? Eat healthy, stay, stay, God bless us, all God bless all of you, and have yourselves a great day. See you soon.